I guess they want poor shops. Wait, nope. Nope. Wait, oh my. Mm. I don't have noise effects, so. There we go. Chase down in terror? Hell Big videos are not ending. Okay I'm sorry, it's not ending. This isn't it. even a realistic you family setting. The father is legitimately terrified. And then after all that, mm. because daddy hasn't suffered enough, they force daddy pig to give his cake to ducks. Really? Daddy Pig hasn't earned a piece of cake? It's like they're relishing it, their father's suffering, it's awful. This is a prime example of Peppa Pig and her family being lousy role models to young children. As for dishonorable mentions, I tried and tried to come up with some, but each episode was worse than the last one I watched. So eventually I decided on this choice, all of them. From the monotonous narrator to the incessant oinking, each episode just got stupider by the minute. But there was one episode that was so dangerously stupid that it had to go at number one. So, here we go. And the number one There we go. Uh, it's a uh, variation for my food. My father is dead to me. What Peppa Pig episode is, Mr. Skinny Legs. Why can be so bad? That's... Are they trying to say it's a spider? That's clearly a dad's skinny lawn legs. These writers don't even know what they're looking at. That is clearly a dad's skinny lawn legs. That is a dad's skinny lawn legs. It is not a damn spider. It's a dad's skinny lawn legs. They're arachnids, but they're not spiders. You can clearly see a small body with eight legs. That's clearly a dad's skinny lawn leg. Why did you not even pick the whole, you are in Australia? That's game. I don't even know if that's game one ways are in Australia. George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. An episode that encourages. It's clearly a freaking. It's clearly a damn dad's kitty long legs. Should they at least draw two parts of a body? Because it's clearly a dad's kitty long legs. Children to play with venomous, deadly insects. Why am I not? <sighs> I'm gonna say one thing. This was made in Britain. Deadly venomous spiders are relatively not in an and it's relatively for a North American audience. And well America basically. They are not really many found in America. You are in a country which wasn't specifically made for the show. It wasn't specifically made for Africa or Australia. Countries that have very dangerous spiders and insects, but aren't well. But this is where airing in America, where there are there's not as much dangerous spiders. So just kind of adding that fact. Surprised. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> See this? It's a damn but dad's skill. Well, that that's a spider. That is a dad's skin and lawn legs. How did he not pick that up? Dad's skin. How is it hard not to tell between a dad's skinny lawn legs and a spider? And I would expect you to pick it up. He is kind of intelligent, so I would expect him to pick it up in a, a dad's skin and lawn legs. He can't even pick it's a dad's skin and lawn legs. You're damn kidding me. Tia, this is the funnel web spider. That is a spider. That is not a spider. Okay, this is just a dad skinny long legs. No. Been too far back. Too far back. Oh, there we go. Am I not surprised? This is a dad skinny long legs. It is clearly a dad skinny long legs. This is not a damn spider. If it was a spider, it would have a two body part and it would have the, the legs more spread out. The legs are in one jointed area. That means it's a dad skinny lawn legs with a very small one part body with jointed legs around it. That's clearly a freaking dad skinny lawn legs. And I expect him to pick it up. A tailed spider. Uh -huh. All local residents of my home country. Australia. Remember, this show was made in Britain. You know, just saying, if a show's made at the opposite end of the country, that's. Duh.
I'm not trying to be offensive, but it was made for not, it wasn't specifically made for an Australian audience. This show was basically really meant for a North American and, and, and Britain, where venomous spiders are not common. Australia. These spiders don't just bite. From Australia. They poison and kill. From Australia. And that's not a spider. That is a dad's getting long legs. Hey, there's a spider in my bedroom. There's that is clearly a for a fucking dad's getting long legs. How hard is it to tell that it is a dad's getting long legs? No need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very. I mean, there's no need to be afraid against a dad's getting long legs. They can't really bite you because they have so small fangs. They're venomous, but they don't bite. Because their fangs are that very, they're rather very small. And that's clearly a dad's game long legs. There's a difference. Very small, and they can't hurt you. A spider. That is a dad's game long legs. I mean, I think he's a fan of South Park. I never liked, I just wanted it to be way too violent. Wow, okay, you can already see the venom coming off the tips of the fangs. No, George! He wants some tea. That's what it does to an adult. Think of what- That is a dad skating long legs, Phantom Strider. A dad skating long legs does not bite. Look up your arachnids, boy! You should know, lad. If you're so interested in those local spiders, I thought you'd know all over the place. I thought you would clearly know about a dad skinny. Lone legs. You clearly picked up that that was a wasp, not a bee. Well, that was a bee, not a wasp. But you can't pick that stuff. Dad skinny long legs. You cannot tell the difference between a spider and a dad skinny long legs. You're poorly educated in the field of arachnids. They're not in your country. I, I, I mean, I, cause I thought you would know a lot. I thought this. I mean, like. I mean, it's like, why would you ever give a shit about other things that are not in your country, but in other countries? The only animals that everyone cares about that are not in their current country, but in other countries are Africa, is because uh, they're very, very dangerous. And there's something called an Asian killer wasp. A silver, and this is all about gorillas, like there's some famous ones. We all know that Australia animals that are really represented are kangaroos and koalas. That's it. Kangaroos and koalas. That's like the only Australian animals represented much. They really talk about. I know there's some snakes, spiders, um... That's why I won't want to live in Australia. I don't like venomous stuff. What it does to a young child. And we lost another young man to a redback back in 2016. And good old responsible Peppa Pig is encouraging toddlers to play with spiders. Sorry, Peppa That is a clearly a dad skinny lawn legs. I I'm just, I'm just saying that it's clearly a dad skinny lawn legs. I don't know how that's a, that's a spider. That's clearly a dad skinny lawn legs. These writers are morons at Peppa Pig. They're a bunch of morons. Peppa, you've done some dumb stuff, but you're not getting off the hook. You can't even tell the difference between a dad skating long legs and a spider, so... Look who's talking. I I'm still a huge fan of them, I'm just saying. Don't call them dumb when you can't tell the difference between a daddy long legs and a spider. There's a huge difference. The writers didn't pick- Oh no, maybe we should draw two body parts, or it looks like a dad skinny long legs. I like that skin long legs. I think they're cool. For this one. I know cool. this show is meant to be brainless enough to be processable by the gnat on the ceiling, but this is the most thick-headed, irresponsible message the writers have sent so far. I consider Mr. Skinny Legs the most dangerous, stupid, terrible episode of Peppa Pig of them all. Everyone <laughs> likes Mr. Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr. Skinny Legs. It can be tempting to leave Peppa Pig as a babysitter for some parents, particularly when YouTube spreads it like a pandemic virus. But why show our kids this junk when we've got challenging, imaginative, insightful, and far more fun shows like Puff and Rock, Sophia well, the First, so. ah. and I'll show them Winnie the Pooh. We've got so many in. I never like. So, the first thought was Doom. I mean, 
bumped up. Way to the Pooh is a cult classic. I never, I'm gonna say this one personal, I never liked Steven Universe. Uh, I was, well, maybe because, honestly, really, I guess I wasn't gonna get invested in action in the current time because my favorite shows like Spongebob, Amazing World of Gumball, I wasn't into action as much. I was more into this. Whatever slapstick humor. Slapstick humor, so. Yeah. <sighs> Working animators and writers in Netflix, Cartoon Network, Warner Bros. I made a 11 minute video, a 27 minute review. Well, I want to edit this, but. <laughs> okay, let's, uh. Find a, oh no 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 nope do not do that do not do that do not do that do not do that okay let's go the next Peppa Pig okay that is the next Peppa Pig episode howdy this is Phantom Strider and let us howdy there folks <laughs> I'm not country I'm just having a good trip that is the dark matter of YouTube you see on YouTube is composed of eight No, that is not the dark part of YouTube. The dark matter of YouTube is Poppy. It keeps on Dad's creepy, but Poppy is a whole level of uh, you. I thought Dad is creepily amusing. It's kind of awkwardly amusing. Poppy is just 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 disturbing at so many angles. I just thought found her to be so creepy. Disturbing on steroids is just Poppy. I don't know why it's so disturbing about Poppy. That's just so creepy. So disturbing. It's the charge. So I some Percent videos. And 92% surprise egg and pepper peg videos. Designed to leave young children in an addicted dopamine cycle that can't be broken without extensive squealing. Anyway, to let off some more steam, let's look at three abysmal Peppa Pig episodes and three of the best Peppa Pig episodes. Like, the episodes that are oh, the yeah. least I'm terrible. I am falling. These are good, but they're the best I can find of I am Peppa falling. Pig. Those very rare episodes with a narrator oh, yeah. shuts I'm, up I'm and talks like a normal human being. Or maybe Peppa's just oh, the oh, least oh, annoying. Oh, oh. Or there's some kind of good <laughs> messages for the kids. Though it should be pointed out, when I asked for suggestions yeah, from the Twitter community, I'll do the right, be honest, unanimously, bro. I got this response. So I dug these up myself and, you know, take this little pinch of salt. So yeah, let's check out three abysmal and best Peppa Pig episodes. Anyway, for better or for worse, on to the countdown. The third abysmal episode is... Daddy gets fit. Well, let's start with Peppa's family's favorite pastime, tormenting Daddy Pig's weight. Cannibalism. You don't look very fit, Daddy. Your tummy is a bit big. I'm very fit. So Peppa orders her daddy to start doing push-ups. First, you must do some press-ups. Easy. One, two. Honestly, I'm surprised Daddy Pig can do a press up at all. They're really tough when you first start. You've got 100 press ups to do. The words tedious and awkward best suit this episode. Watching Daddy Pig continually have to embarrass himself seems far more cringeworthy than entertaining to me. Let him hit the gym with some basic dignity in a daily workout routine he chooses. I mean, I'm all for encouraging fitness. I'm a marathon runner myself, but often fitness has to be a personal decision. Telling your loved ones that they're fat and telling them to go get fit seems mean what? and shallow and kind of weird for a four-year-old cartoon. As for pluses to this one, I can appreciate that... Well, more than two things happen in this episode. Yeah. Daddy Pig tries push-ups and exercise, and then he goes for a real bike ride, and we get a scenery change of two. Two scene changes. That's almost variety. But the continual fat shaming and bossiness of Peppa really does bug me. 
Besides, these three aren't exactly the epitome of slenderness themselves. The native judge. Why don't they all quit ganging up on their dad and go get fit together? And Danny Pig's the only one who can swim underwater, apparently. He's probably the fittest one there. I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Okay, got it. <laughs> Yeah, I told my glasses, Bobby. Oh, and the third best Peppa Pig oh, episode yeah. is not very well. <laughs> Hello, oh God, this is fine. You today, I'm not very well. Obviously, as you can tell by the name, Peppa spends most of the episodes sick in bed. Who apparently has a rash. Peppa has just got a rash. Why couldn't they just call it chicken pox? That's clearly chicken pox. Well, for Peppa Pig, I have to admit, of all the uninspired drivel it's shown me so far, this episode's the least ear-grating. You see, this is one of those rare episodes where we yeah. actually see the narrator talk I'm like a normal crazy. human being, rather than simply mindlessly parroting everything like he normally does. Danny Dog and Rebecca Rabbit have come along too. Oh, oh God, damn it! Quite enjoying herself. Damn it! <laughs> Thank you, Susie. He's actually giving further information to the children to better oh, illustrate shit. the situation. Fair He's enough. almost being helpful. I mean, don't get me wrong. The episode's still vapid enough to cause existential dread in adults, but it's almost tolerable. Perhaps because Pepper spends most of the episode sick. Yeah, and I'm upside down. Doctor Brown Bear is here. See you. Pepper is better. He's been gone for three minutes. How could Pepper be better by now? Oh, God. Me too. A complete recovery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you know? Four minutes later, and Pepper's all better. Here I thought the child would be taught long-term okay. consequences beyond the five minutes required to fill a YouTube ad break. Oh, yeah. Well, it didn't annoy me as much as most episodes, so that's a new high for Peppa Pig. And I'm the second here. abysmal Peppa Pig episode is Mummy Pig at Work. Truly, there were some breathtaking oh. moments in children's yeah. animation here. I can tell you, it involves a chicken, a fart sound, and very little animation. That'll entertain the kids for five minutes, right? But let's now. start from the beginning, because there's <laughs> really not that much to catch you up on. Pepper and George barge on their mother while she's working. And